Hi guys, we are back and we are excited because we're in our favorite place. And that is the kitchen, as you can see. But we're not going to do any cooking today. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna show our audience something important. Yes, we're gonna do some um, natural remedy if you are experiencing any kind of discomfort in your throat. So we're gonna start with the throat and then for the second part of this time, we'll move to something that will be beneficial for those struggling with your lungs being filled with fluid, pneumonia type things, or flu, that sort of thing. All right, so we want to start off with our favorite verse, part of this series, Love versus Fear, and that is found in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. What is that verse that we love so much? That verse says, The Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. That's right, and that promise can be yours. God has not given us the spirit of fear. So we're excited. Let's have a short prayer and we'll get into this throat compress. Our Father God, we have come before you, thankful that you love us like you do. And Lord, you know that we live in a world of sin and sometimes we get sick. Sometimes we get tired. We don't get enough rest and maybe we eat a little bit too much sugar, whatever it may be, but you love us still. So we thank you for these remedies. May this remedy and the second one we share today may be a blessing to those who are watching. We love you. We praise you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Okay, when I was young, my mother, I remember when I was really, really little, a little boy, and I would get this start of a sore throat. And you, we all know how it makes us feel. We get pretty miserable, don't we? Mm -hmm. When you know that th sore throat is coming on, that's usually the precursor for the cold and the runny mm -hmm. nose that never stops for a couple of days, and the cough, and then the dry cough, and trying to recover, not get bronchitis, or worse, mm. pneumonia. Um, none of us enjoy that, but that sore throat, that's really painful. And so, what my mother used to do, and I'd say, Mom, I'm not feeling good. I got this, my throat hurts at night. Then I didn't like this, but she would put this throat compress on me, and we're gonna demonstrate that right now, actually, on my wife, and I'm so thankful for you helping us out with this with this portion. All right, so you need five things for this throat compress. You need safety pins, and we need some- Cold water. Cold water, as cold as your tap water can get. Oh, now that's beautiful washcloth. And it's good to get nice bright colors because that's kind of lifts the spirits up mm -hmm. when they're feeling down and sick. All right, and what else do we have for our last two items? We have the Saran Wrap. All right, we need Saran Wrap. And no, we're not getting paid for this commercial for Glad, from GLAD, so just so you know. All right, and our last thing. Is a clean wool sock. All right, wool sock. works best. Now, if you don't have wool, use a big sock, as big as you can get, that will go around your neck. So here we go. So you have a sore throat, <clears throat> and I'm so sorry. Mm. Now, the first thing you want to do is, and we often forget this, is to pray. Now, we're not going to pray now, but always pray and ask for God's blessing. Maybe even at the end, after you get it all set up, pray and ask God to bless his natural remedy. We should do this with every natural remedy, shouldn't we? Yes. Trust yes. in God. We're going to, our next presentation is going to get talk about that a little bit more. So here we go. So my wife has a sore throat. So I'm going to first wet this in the cold water and make sure it's nice, good, wet. Now, you want to squeeze it out. A little bit, not entirely. You want it to stay moist, but you don't want dripping water because you're going to sleep with this and you don't want a wet nightshirt or pajamas. And so we'll squeeze the majority of the water out so it's still moist now. And we're going to place this around the neck like this. Now, no matter how angry you might be at your child or your spouse, you don't want this too tight because they're not going to appreciate it and it's going to end up being taken off in the middle of the night because they feel like they can't get enough air. So, usually you can take one bobby pin and... Safety pin, dear. Safety pin, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It isn't a bobby pin, it's a safety pin. You might want to get a larger one, maybe? Well, I, I, think, I think I can make this one work. This is great if you have um, just different sizes here. Safety right. Pins. You got people in your family that have big necks or small necks. Okay. So it's nice and damp and cold. You feel that? Mm -hmm. All right. Your throat's starting mm. to feel better already, yeah. isn't it? <clears throat> okay. So the next thing you want to do is take enough saran wrap that will go all the way around. I'm going to guess here. Now you want to seal this moisture 
in this wash cloth in. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make sure it's on the upper portion of it and on the lower. Maybe even kind of push it down over a little bit down in towards the neck. And we're going to bring it around. And of course, Saran Wrap clings. As we know, Glad has done such a wonderful job with. Mm -hmm. And so you don't need a safety pin or anything with that. Okay, so next, the last thing we do is we take the wool sock. And again, make sure it's clean. Gentlemen, ladies are not going to appreciate a dirty sock. I'm here to tell you right now. So here we go. Not too tight, but snug, not loose fitting, because once you turn a few times in bed, then it's not going to be very helpful at all. All right, well, we got a safety pin, very helpful, even though she's sick. All right, and so even two safety pins wouldn't be a bad idea. And I'm going to safety pin it in the back, and voila. Now, I'll warn you, it's not going to feel very comfortable. You may have a little bit of a difficult time going to sleep. You're already feeling a little miserable. Mm -hmm. and But wear this all night long. And when you get up in the morning, first thing, you can have your, hopefully your spouse is on the ball or mom or dad if you're helping your child. And you take this all off in reverse order. Take that rag that is now moist heat, mm -hmm. which has done wonders. It will help soothe and, and give you a little bit of a, a head start into the healing process. But take that warm cloth and put it under cold water, as cold as you can get it. Squeeze it out a few times and leave a bit of water in there, not dripping. And then you douse the neck two or three times is a good idea. You're closing those pores up as they begin another day. Now you can do this two or three nights in a row um, until, the, you know, until the symptoms begin to dissipate and disappear. Now I will tell you this is not a cure, but it does help you recover quicker than you would if you did not do this. So this is the throat compress, mm -hmm. and we hope that this will be a blessing because we have a lot of sore throats going on in the world. What other things, uh, briefly, what other things can someone do besides the throat compress? Well, uh, by the way, you can do this all day if you want to. Start in the morning, you can wear it all day. It doesn't have to be just at night. Um, you can gargle with salt water. That is tremendous. Now you can't, yeah. you wanna make sure you don't have too much salt because it can make your throat kind of close up if you get too much, you end up swallowing some of it when you're gargling. So be really careful. How much would you say? Maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon in a, in a small glass? Warm water. Make sure All right, it's warm, warm water. water. Or start with hot water and let it dissolve mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, cool down a little bit before you start to gargle. Right. Okay. And also, you can also get, if you have honey at home, they said honey, taking a little teaspoon of honey mm, to coat yeah. your throat um, because it has some antibacterial properties in that. Okay, and so you, you, yummy. you've given me some, a little bit of honey, and you put a little, like, squeeze lemon juice with that on the oh, spoon, yes. and sometimes a couple of drops of eucalyptus oil. Or you can make, that's like a cough syrup. You can make right. a cough syrup. Like that, that, squeeze um, lemon juice, some honey, and that's been very eucalyptus helpful. eucalyptus oil. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Good. Anything else? That's about for it. For this segment. All yeah. right, stay tuned, and we'll be right back with our second treat.